And we are back with part three to one shot in the last episode. Woo, Woo Techers. Um, in the last episode, like I said, we didn't sleep in the bed. So Nico is concerned, as you can tell, because like we closed out our game. This is why I recommend you sleep in the bed before you quit for before you quit your game. Um, but yeah, last time we we left the Barrens and now we're in the Glen, the second area in the game. I have got Will with me this time. Yeah. Will is playing some 3D World, so if he's a bit quiet, give him a break. Yeah. Give him a break. Yeah, I'm just chilling. Yeah, just chilling like always. But without further ado, let's begin. So Nico's called my name. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Phew. What happened? Nah, fam. Yeah. Everything went pitch black for a second. So that's, that's what Nico sees. Every time the game closes, he just sees a pitch blackness. So that's why it's best to go to sleep in a bed before you actually think about, you know, quitting. Hello, person. Come here. I want to talk to you. I'm catching fireflies with mommy. Oh, you cute little thing. But if you remember, if we went south, we saw a person just calling for somebody. So we're going to go ahead this way now and try and find him. Wherever the fuck he may be. There he is. Hey, you there. Sup, you bird-looking fuck? Uh, have you seen a little girl? She's a little bit shorter than you and... Wait, that's the sun. Are you our saviour? Yep, you talk to the messiah, mate. Oh, my stars. Yeah, I'm, I'm holding the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm actually holding the sun. Um, sorry for my rudeness. Uh, it's alright. You looking for someone? My little sister. She's been gone for three days now. I'm looking all over, but what does she look like? A little shorter than you, long blue hair, two blue feathers on top of her head. I haven't seen anyone like that. But I think saw her. Back inside the ruins. She said she heading towards the forest, so I'm way here there now. I have places to look. So one of our goals is to try and find this person he's on about. Which, you know, is fun. <laughs> Whilst trying to save the world with the spider and all that shit, we have to go find someone's sister. <laughs> talk about killer. Yep. <laughs> Oh, we're heading down. Who cares about his sister? There's more pressing matters to attend to. Yeah. That's to be fair. That's like every RPG ever. Like, oh my god, I have to go and save the world. But yeah. This girl's offering a thousand gold if I go and save. If I go and kill this monster, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's completely ignoring <laughs> the main quest. Yeah. And then they're like, "Hmm, why did I get the bad ending?" <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, sorry, it's guys. been a decade. <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's been a decade. They're like, why? Um, but yeah, if you guys are curious, the bots in this area are color coded to whatever area you're in. If they're, if they're in blue, their main job is in the barrens. If it's green, its main job is in the glen. If it's red or purpley red, its main job is in the refuge. Like I said, these robots are not tamed. If you remember back in part uh, two, any robot that's not tamed, it doesn't have free will, and therefore it will always go back to its programming. So, since these robots are not tamed, this fucker will turn to the refuge soon. Which, you know, is, uh, great. <laughs> but anyways. Hello, robot. Hello, person. <laughs> that, that was very well timed. <laughs> Hello, robot. Hello, person. This is the main generator of, of Glen. Ooh. I actually fixed one of these earlier in the place across the ocean. This area doesn't need to be fixed right now. You guys have power and all. So this is the Jerry, so that's equivalent in the ref in the Barons, I mean, not refuge. In Barons. Now like I say, you have to bear because I haven't played this game in a good while, so you know. <laughs> I am gonna forget some some plot well not plot interesting thing, I'm gonna forget some like some of the puzzle puzzly puzzle of the puzzle are. The puzzle are moments? Yeah. Don't forget the puzzle lockers. Exactly. Where's the pirates when you fucking need them? <coughs> <laughs> Look at puzzlers. Yeah, look at Fashel too. Okay, I call Fashel. Yeah, ma faces. where's Master Chief Papyrus when you need him? <laughs> yeah, Master Chief Papyrus. Where he's gonna 6969 back to your boiling too. Hey person, bye person. You know what I'm looking for? <laughs> uh, let's go north. Okay, now we're in like a city area. I think there are some sheep you can have to herd, I think. 
Yeah, the sheep. Sup, birch. Hello? I need some help herd my rams. I can do that. I found some grown ups do it back at home. You can't just push them around. I like how the guy is like put his glasses in his fucking in his fucking um his face before you you know thing. <laughs> hmm, but you're carrying the sun. Ah. Kids watch them for me? I cannot, but I'm a simple shepherd. Oh, okay. Come back when your hands are free. So you, for some reason Nico can't just decide to drop the sun. <laughs> which you know is stupid in my opinion, but you know. Sorry, I can't drop the sun. Also, if you're curious too, well, Tyke, do you hear audio from my game? Yeah. So, like, see these, these sheep? Mm. They all bar. Yep. This guy's spinning, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Random as fuck why he makes a demonic sound, but you know. But yeah, dropping the sign is something we'll have to do at some point, and I'll explain how to do that once we find it. I know it is not placing the sun on this podium. <laughs> That'll be too easy. <laughs> um, yeah, I said we're going to find a certain character, and that character will keep the sun safe for us. For, in my opinion, a very, very sad reason. And these vines are are to do with it. And no, it's not flowery, before you ask. Mate, you missed them. Hi, mate, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? It's like a game, really. This is Australian flower. Yeah, it is an Australian flower, and it is a normal. Yeah. Hi, mate, you missed them. Let's try that again, innit? Let's try that again, okay? Yeah, my crack a light. Alright, um. <laughs> Price offended every single Australian, but you know. Yeah, it's fine. That's how it was when I played the mod, so go sue the mod. <laughs> yeah, sue the mod, not uh, the messenger. Yep. Sue the message, not the messenger. Exactly. <laughs> Bro, I completely forget what I actually have to do now. But speaking of the messenger, fucking great game, recommend. Um, Defo, Defo for sure. I'm probably gonna cut out like the bits that are like, you know, not too like, you know. Like when I was walking around endlessly trying to remember how to do shit, you know? Like no one's gonna wanna see that in my fucking video. True. At least I hope not. If you do, then you're I think you're a little bit psycho. Yeah, but you can see the doorway is always full of vines, so you know, that's great. And over here we meet this robot. Hey buddy! The sun, you're the messiah. Are you on your way to the tower? Mm hmm. You can enter the refuge through this wall. You need to sign your name and the scroll first. Alright, do you have a pen? Um. No, of course you don't. So, yes. To get into this room, we have to sign a contract when I don't. I don't know why that makes sense with the fucking messiah, but oh well. Anyways. So now we find this, like, ruined place. And you want to keep searching around until you find somewhere. I think it's here. Just keep going down, keep going down. You can see, like, everywhere is covered with vines, so you can't really do anything with the vines. But it is very sad what you actually have to do. Oh, we'll get to it. I think it's down here. Yep. So head left. And then head up, and then you'll find a certain character. Meet Maze. Uh, Maze spelled M A I Z E. This character is called Maze, and yeah, Maze is uh, super sad. Savior, I can't believe it. You're real, Miss. Are you alright? No. Was this the verge? Maybe they could. It, it's okay, it's too late for me. The sun. I haven't seen it. If it's not too much trouble, can you let me the sun for a while? We'll make you, be we'll make you better? No, you're not safe me. Basically, maze is the reason for all of the fucking vines around the places. 
So, because of giving her the sun, um, it's going to calm her down. That's going to cause the vines to go away. It's very sad because Maze is basically slowly dying, which is, you know, it's. You haven't even met this character yet, and they're already d almost dying. Man, fucking hell. When it beats Life hits you fast. You it, haven't even met them, and they're already dying. Yep. Yeah. Would it be too selfish for me to ask? Take it. Um, put this stone in your inventory, and then give it to her. Give it to her. I'm almost forgotten. It's good, right? The vines should be gone now. I'm not afraid anymore. So, we are going to use the sun for a while, but it's okay. So now you drop off the sun and you can go herd the sheep, but you can also now go through any place there are vines. They're now gone now, because, you know, thanks to Maze. So, yeah. I do believe there's another puzzle somewhere. That involves your computer. We can go through here, look. Yep, here is the puzzle. I don't know what this is. There is another computer. puzzler. Yeah. There is another computer somewhere that will give you a hint to what the puzzle actually is. I already know what it is, but I'm going to do it the legit way for, you know, convenience sake. But wouldn't it be more convenient to do it the not legit way? No, because I have to show how to how, how people to get to it, because they, mm, might, they might yeah. not know. Yeah, they might not know. Yeah, but I'm talking like more convenient for you. <laughs> yeah, more convenient for me. Yes, I would just like no, I would I would just put it in. So I think it's always the same, but you know, because there's some there's some password is different. Anyway, here's the computer. Now you ain't gonna see this, but you see in a second. But you see, hello again. It's talking to me. It seems like I need your help again. Nico will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information you need is forward to the most easily accessible place on your machine. Do you see it? I do. Um, you'll know what to do over then. If you have no idea what that just did, check your background. Trust me, check your background. The game has changed my actual PC background to this. So I don't think War's going to see this because I don't think it shows my um, screen share. Mm -hmm. But it's given me the layout to the puzzle. And as soon as I complete the puzzle, this image will turn back to whatever your wallpaper is. So, you know, it's handy. So you can see, I'll keep my window over here for now. I'll keep myself in display capture for now because I want to, like, you know, show you guys what I mean. So go back to that room which had the, um, uh, what you call it? Which had the um, the layout room, and you want to make that exact same shape that is now on your background. I just got to try and find it now. <laughs> I think it's over here. Yep. So I said, make the same shape that is by here. So you want to go like this, boop, boop, boop. So when you walk on this, when you walk on it, it'll turn the, it'll turn the um, um the, the thing green. Go like that, boop, 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 boop. Go back two, and then I think we'll go one, two, three. I forgot how this works. Like this, and then bap, bap, bap. And then once you do that, it should change your background back to wherever you have. See, like, there you go. So now my background is back to where it was, so it won't keep your background the same for, forever. So, yeah. Nice touch. That would be very annoying if it weren't, if it did. Yeah. So switch back to my game capture, there you go. And now we'll, back, we'll go back to the game. You felt, you saved me. So apparently she was trapped in there. I'm not going to ask, but you know. Thank you. Oh, I've been there so long. So you're, uh, so are you a Lula? You know my name? The Messiah really knows everything. Actually, I just met your brother earlier. Oh, right. Calamus must be so worried. 
Can we swim? So now what you want to do? Mario the Sun. So the reason why um, I'm gonna skip this. It's not important. The reason why um, what's the face's name? Alula knew I was the Messiah before, <laughs> without knowing I had the sun. Uh, she thought that because my eyes, because my eyes in the game look like Alula's yellow, like a sun. <laughs> But now you say to Lula, you want to go back to Cam uh, Calmus, back in the forest, and then you'll uh, you'll save him. So let's go do that, shall we? Can I fast travel? I can fast travel forest. There he is. So you can fast travel back to the forest, and then bang. You're okay. Thank goodness. I was up the side of that room, it was very scary, but then the messiah saved me. Trapped? In the ruins? Yeah. There's weird stuff at the door. The floating squares that we see next, the ocean times. The glitches. And the glitches mainly exist because this game shouldn't involve real world communication. If that makes any sense. So it's kind of bugging because some of the puzzles that were meant to exist in this world now exist in my computer. Which is very cool. It's a very cool aspect. The stuff you stay away from. It spreads the ruins now. This isn't good. I didn't touch it. Not hurt by anything. If it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What is the square stuff exactly? Bad. <laughs> yeah, no shit. If that's it, sort of gets messed up. Do you get a little bit more specific than bad? Yeah. I will. Let's call me Nico. Huh? Why would it be? I'm just a kid like you guys. Was that to visit our house? Um, yes. If you say no, then <laughs> you'll progress the story, so you might as well say yes. <laughs> oh, shoot. So we can't get past that block. Seriously? <laughs> she fucking just yeets the block. I've literally thought of that. You can't get your soul of debris after living here for a while. Come on, our house is far from here. <laughs> so welcome to our home. I know it's not much, but feel free to make yourself comfortable. Ah, there it is. I wanted to have this. This is why. Because she gives you a, a, a shiny feather. Oh, a feather. The eggs are going yellow. The Great Prophet. Oh, yeah. See, she is this old lady that our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark and she can see the future. Or something like that. <laughs> so now we've got the feather. That's all you need to do first and then you can leave. <laughs> you only go in there to oh grab a feather. Oh my god, can you get a cape now? A cape feather. Using the feather. Hey. Sure. Okay. I don't think there's anything else in here, though. And that's from Bruce Taken. It's a ball. That's mine. It doesn't bounce around as much as it used to, though. I don't think there's anything in here that's actually practically useful. Except for this, maybe. Let's do this loot somewhere. Yeah, that's the sacred grounds. It's been a while since that went here. The boat I was gonna swim in. What's the sacred grounds? It's where our people are buried. Dang, dork. Oh, a grave anyway. Our friends helped us. He has some sort of machine that allows him to fly. But I haven't seen him around for a while. I wish you could see mom again. Connor, let's go back to the courtyard now. Okay. That person they mentioned about the boy about the plane, that is also important for when I do something else this game. So just keep a mental note of that, alright? <laughs> Now we're gonna leave this room because now obviously we haven't, we haven't got the sun anymore, right? So we might as well go do the herd. Remember? Go sheep the sheep and then herd the sheep and the herd. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Sheep the sheep and herd the herd, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna do things. I 
think it's up here. Uh huh. Okay. Also, do I walk? I'm gonna do this fast travel. I don't. I think I also need like something to ride this with feather. Pass the right with. Yeah. So since I, the the feather is part of the rising pen, but you also need like ink or something, so you can't really know. You, you just have like a buck and quill, you know. You can't just have like a fucking feather. Uh, fast travel to village. There we go. Thankfully, fast travel is a thing, so you don't have to war constantly. Yeah, that's useful. I see your hands now free, which that's how many are my rams. There's a great reward in store for you, I promise. Yeah. Ring a bell. So, yeah. This is a puzzle, as you can guess. You have to get the rams on those circular spots, and if you get stuck, you press a bell. And the bell will reset them, so you know. It's a bit of trial and error to piss take, but you know. Not gonna lie, the sheep sound a little bit retarded, but you know, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, who isn't? Yeah, true. I'm close, but I don't think I've got a. <laughs> yeah, I think I fucked myself. Yeah, I fucked myself. Ring the bell. Oh, damn it. That noise. Can they just sound like the, they don't sound okay? <laughs> you know? How do I. Is that first thing I'm doing wrong? <laughs> I was never good at these puzzles, as you can tell. I may have just got it. I think. Don't take that for granted. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Go like that. I go like this. And bang. And it does. They do bar a tune if you get it, and that's what it is. You provide a great service for the ram kind. Ram kind, for fuck's sake. In return, take this fine ram wall. Oh, thanks. What did you give me? Yeah, I mean, it's not wrong. It is ram kind. Yeah. It gave you ram wall. I don't remember what you used the wall on though. I think I thought trade in the shops or something. Or I was a guy I was looking for. I think that's one of them. There's like a shopkeep somewhere so I want to I want to Death won't be you. The wall. This is off the savior. I forget why you actually need the the, um, uh, the wall in the first place. I'm being perfectly honest. My Africa sort of guy, I completely forgot how to do this. <laughs> like, why do you need wall? Let's check if there's anything else in this room that can help me. The fishing pole.
Yeah, nothing there, okay. I may have to console guide. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly forget what you do with the wall, I'm being perfectly honest. Because I'll take a guy it is. Where'd thou consult a guide? No, seriously, though, that's like yeah. definitely a strat. Definitely. Alright, watch it walk through some of that shit. Okay, I think he's a trigger revision. That's what it's telling me, but I honestly don't remember. <laughs> I think I would be playing this game for so long, but I don't. <laughs> uh, fast travel to the courtyard. Is there a bed in the courtyard? Mattress. That's the wrong bed, though. <laughs> That's the wrong bed. Oh, where the fuck's the bed? Oh no, I've already triggered the vision. Okay. Uh, I know. I know. I know. I have to do now. I'm done. You want to go to where uh, Maze was? That's what I want to do, okay, I'm, I'm slightly more, like, bright. Right, so go to, we're going to head back to where Maze was, I think. Yep. Maze is dead. Light's gone out. Do you know what happened? No. You really? But, but... Oh, what am I gonna do? And when Nico picks up the light bulb again, it brights up. Phew, she's gone. They're sitting on the ground here. So, yeah, Maze died. So, you know, Rip Maze, I guess, no well. Yeah, alright, he. She kinda, yeah, she kinda just died. <laughs> that was a quick introduction to death. It's absolutely ridiculous. Fed the sheep. Oh, the gate is where you save. I've got the seat now.
But there is a way to save Maze, and if you save Maze, you get an achievement. So, you know, we're obviously going to save Maze. Duh. Because Maze is a beautiful character, and she deserves to be saved. End of. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, what time are we on this recording currently? We're half an hour in, but I'm going to just, like, have one kill. I'm just, I think I'm going to save the bed and call it there for part three. Yeah, that's fine. Because I, I make my uh, parts half an hour long on purpose. <laughs> So uh, we need to fast travel to the gate. And there should be a bed there somewhere. Oh, we're already there. Oh. <laughs> Ignore me, I'm dumb. We're already there. <laughs> yeah, I found a pen. Oh, come on. Where the fuck's the bed they're on about? There's a, there's, a bed, there's a bed in the gates. I don't see no fucking bed. At least if I'm legally blind. Oh, there we go. Here's the Wait, bed. Can you be illegally blind? I mean, true. But okay, I found the bed, so we're gonna sleep, and you know. Yeah, that's a good question. Can you be illegally blind? True. We'll answer that in the next episode, but for now. Oh, God. If you guys have enjoyed part three to one shots, drop a like and subscribe. It always helps me. It's good to see you guys supporting the channel. Also, Discord and Twitch. Go to Discord, go to something other the gist. Twitch. Yep. Excuse me. Other oh, will be living. I don't have to think about it, but it's true. See you on Twitch if you want to say hello. It's good to see you guys in person. Also, Mike and H, part of the Warcraft team. They're in the description. Will. And, and guys, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe button, and hit that motherfucking bell. Yes, Nico, take a nap. But apart from that, it's been blue, it's been smooth. And we'll see you in part four. Peace.